Hi everyone, I've been playing around for some time now on building my own styroform airplane and in order to make the wings I needed a hot wire cutter so I can trace out the airfoil. Stick around to see how I've built it. This project involves mains voltage. If mishandled it can and will kill you. Always double check your connections before powering it on and if you don't know what you are doing do not attempt this project. The hot wire cutter works by running electricity to a wire with high resistance. The electricity produces heat and it is this heat that instantly melts the styrofoam making very clean cuts. At the heart of the cutter is this beefy transformer that I've pulled out of an old CRT TV but I did not know what are the voltages that it outputs. In order to test it and identify its connections. I've measured the resistance between each of the wires and I was able to identify four different coils. Additionally, I made sure that none of the wires is in contact with the metal plates of the transformer core. If for some reason you can get continuity from a wire to the body of the transformer, do not use it as the insulation of the wires is damaged. Since this is a step down transformer, the coil with the highest resistance is where the mains voltage is connected as it has the highest number of turns. In order to safely test my theory and the transformer, I used an incandescent light bulb in series with the transformer on the first power up. This way, even if the transformer is short circuited, the light bulb will act as a high power resistor and prevent any damage. One of the coils has really thick wires and it also outputs about 40 volts while being open circuit, so I've decided to use that one to power the slicer. Depending on the final length of the cutter you want to make, you might not need that much, but I wanted to be able to cut up to a meter in length. To house the transformer and all of the electronics, off camera I've built a simple box out of 8mm MDF with a wooden board as the base. The transformer is screwed to the board while the rest of the components are attached to the box. In order to be able to regulate the power and the temperature of the wire, I'm using a mains dimmer switch that is connected in series with the transformer and the additional power plug I left on the box. The power plug is also regulated so I can use it in future when I have the need to regulate the power to a something like a soldering iron. The main output of the transformer is then connected to a banana plug screw terminals that are mounted on the box, while the other two windings are also terminated on the box with a PCB screw terminals that I've glued to the box. All of the wires inside are soldered and I've made sure to apply heat shrink tubing to prevent any shorts. For the saw part of the cutter, I've used three pieces of 25mm PVC pipe. Two of the pieces are 20cm in length while the long one is 150cm. They are connected together with two 90 degrees elbows. At the end of the short pieces, I've drilled a hole to fit this drywall ceiling hook bolts but any bolt with a hook at the end will work. The two are then connected with a piece of nichrome wire but you can also use a strand of steel cable. To connect the saw and the power supply I've made a cable that has alligator clips on one end that connect to the hook bolts. There is also an additional switch at the side of the box that I can use to power the entire system off while still keeping the adjustment on the dimmer switch. When I started the project I wasn't sure if and how it will work but it turned out better than I expected. There is a lot of power available so you can really cut fast but also it is easily adjustable to go slowly when needed. Depending on the setting the wire can produce a lot of fumes and smoke so it's necessary to use it outdoors or in a very well ventilated area. If you have any suggestions for modifications I can do on the cutter or question then please leave them down in the comments and be sure to subscribe to my channel for similar videos. Cheers and thanks for watching.